person down the line, and this all gets turned into the state. So at some point it becomes very challenging to try to work around this system, um, as well as the whole uh, way that distribution is gonna work within the state as well. You have to go through really specific channels um, to get any starting product to another person in the line of manufacturing or delivery or things like that. So from that standpoint, there's, you have a pretty good safety net around you that's you know, being put in place and has been built into this whole uh, regulation. So I just wanted to you know, make that clear so that when you're concerned about things like that, there is a lot kind of built around it already for you. Hi, my name is Nareet Raphael. I'm the founder of Ona Life, which is a boutique cannabis delivery service that's been established since 2015. We are operating out of San Rafael. We will be applying for our permit with San Rafael, our annual permit with San Rafael, Marin County, and out surrounding areas as well since both of these applications will have a lottery. Um, back in 2015 I helped pass a legislation act for a non-storefront license so we could be able to apply for delivery licenses prior there were no delivery only licenses. Um, we're really excited to be moving forward and help our community with taxes and you know maintain our business in Marin County. Uh, and so I don't understand how we're going to enforce this to make sure that there aren't leakages to people who should not be taking it, and that's particularly teenagers. Uh, yeah, adult use. Um, without distributor licenses in San Rafael, it's gonna be very hard for a lab to function. It would basically need to be dependent on distributors in Greater Marin uh, that it could just, you know, pipeline out employees to and bring samples in. The samples are what keeps the door open and allows the business to you know, pay its taxes. Um, so I would strongly recommend that if you don't want to keep uh, dispensaries or producers, at the very least consider having distributors licensed in this area as that will support the laboratory. Uh, All of us here, we care so much. This is our business, this is our livelihood. And also as a citizen of San Rafael, I, I feel like this is the coolest, best place in Marin to live. Honestly, the most variety of people and real heartbeat lives here. And I appreciate that we are at least leading the way in this cannabis conversation. I do feel like there's room to grow just a little bit. I too have been to Fairfax and I've been to all of the, you know, the city council. I figured they'd be the cool ones, you know, not cool, but more open-minded, but they're not. And so I really, um, as a citizen of San Rafael, please keep it open and we can push our wings just even a little lower. A distributor would be really cool too. Hi, I'm Daniela O'Leary, the Director of Economic Development for the City of San Rafael. We spent over 365 days working on developing our medical cannabis subcommittee recommendations for operator licensing. And tonight what we worked on is approving a resolution that outlines license amounts and license requirements. I do agree with you that the number is a little arbitrary in terms of we know that there are more people out there delivering. And if we remember what, I can't remember her name, Joanna from the San Rafael right. Commerce, she mentioned doing an unlimited, which I think is a great idea. You guys can see who wants to apply from there and then work out of that state regulations that deals with you know enforcement. Um, and when it comes to people operating in a way that, um, you know, if, they're not, if they don't have a permit or a license to operate in San Rafael, and operating without one, it becomes very challenging at some point to be able to do that because of the requirements the state is asking for. Um, there's a track and trace program that's in place. Everyone is required at this point to be at least monitoring themselves, but within about six months to a year, the state metric track and trace system will be in place. And this 